Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a mistake I made as well as the more interesting story. If had I known this was real to begin with, this would have been the story I would have gone with. So buyouts normally happen when a store who has a lot of asset can put down $20,000, $25,000 and can buy something like the Zendikar Fetchlands, for instance, which actually happened then they can sell it because when you buy something you have to sell that item and unless you're a big store how are you going to sell an item which the liquid no one's going to buy a moat every single hour it's not in standard it's not being promoted you would have to have a way to sell the moats right i talked to this individual he contacted me on my youtube channel and we talked on facebook he's sent this image right here his name is Craig and Craig he is telling me he's responsible for the moats the lion's eye diamonds the library of Alexandria etc etc what's interesting about this is he posted two videos on his Facebook page his public Facebook page I'm going to play the audio one video he goes ahead and he says that he purchased this and it was him The second video, he compares himself to, you just have to like listen to the videos. I'm not going to post his full name. I'm sure he'll put a comment in the comment description. So you'll be able to identify who he is. The market is so unregulated. One actor, a single actor, apparently can spike up a price of a card 200 plus dollars. That's the market we currently are in. Now, how does how is he going to get rid of these moats? I'm not positive he can. It would be interesting to follow up with Craig and see afterwards if he can get rid of these moats. I definitely would stay for the next two minutes and listen to the audio because it should give you a very good concept of who is spiking up these prices and why our game is so expensive. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I'm about to do another buyout. Uh, I just bought out TCG Player and Star City Games of Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, The average was 127 each. Uh, And they're like 150 or so. Um, And I think there's probably like another 30 or 40 on eBay. I forget the exact amount. But I'm going to post this video so my friends can join in and purchase any if they'd like. I think it'll probably be like, this is a difficult one. Uh, I think it'll probably hit like the high will be 245 maybe ish. And it'll settle around like 205 to 215. So, then you could probably buy list them for like 180, 185 each for your near mint. Oh, I'd also like to address one other thing. I know that after this happens, there's going to be posts on Reddit, whatever, Facebook groups, whatever about me. And I've been called in the past, and it may sound ridiculous, but I'm really not that much like Hitler. Uh, I believe, I'm not positive, that he was a much worse person than me. All that I'm really doing is taking advantage of a market that's not regulated. This happens every day in the world in other markets that aren't regulated. I'm just a horrible person for doing it in magic. Uh, so even though what everyone says on the internet really, it really hurts me and I don't know how I'm going to get through it, but I would just like to say that I'm really not that terrible of a person.